Hello guys, welcome to today's video. So it's been a pretty chill day, not a lot going on. There's like nothing to do around the house. So I've been pretty bored. Um, and speaking of being bored, I resorted to watching TikToks and I've talked about TikTok before. I kind of complained about it a little bit, just saying that it was like people doing the same things over and over again. Um, and stuff like that. Now there are some original posts and there are some funny posts and I'm not going to say that I don't like TikTok. Um, cause there, there is some funny stuff on there. So it's not that I hate TikTok. Um, it's just that there's a lot of repetitive stuff, you know, it's just like different people doing the same things. So those kind of posts I don't really appreciate, but I do appreciate the funny ones, the unique ones and all that good stuff. Anyway, that's not even what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Sorry, went off on a rant again, but, um, so you know that broom thing that everybody's like tripping out about saying like NASA said, today's the only day your broom will stand up by itself or whatever. I think it's so funny, like how many people fell for that. And it's also crazy because is this like the first time people knew that a broom could do that? It's just weird, I guess. I don't know. But the first time I saw a broom do that, like stand up on its own, me and my mom were home alone and we were in the living room and this was back when I was in high school. I don't even want to say how long ago that's been. Over 10 years. That is crazy to say out loud. I'm getting so old. Anyway, um, me and my mom were home alone and we were both in the living room watching TV or I don't know something and we heard a noise. It sounded like it coming from the kitchen and we were both like looked at each other like what the hell and I don't remember who got up and went in there if it was me or her first but whoever it was was like come in here holy crap look at this and the broom was standing up by itself in the kitchen and we were just like what the hell like we were scared like not scared but like shocked and not like we didn't know what to think we were like what the hell how is this broom like standing up on its own so anyways um after that we just grabbed it and like we're trying to make it stand up on its own and it would do it like almost every time so I guess I don't know I guess that's why it's not like cool to me because I've already like I guess I already knew that it was a thing but I, I, it's, it's just crazy that like this many people didn't know that that was a thing and it's like something that blew up I don't know anyway I just thought I'd talk about that because it's been all over TikTok and I'm just like that's so strange that people really didn't know that um but I guess it was a weird coincidence that I found out too, because it just happened to be standing up in our kitchen one day, which was pretty strange. But anyway, so that's what I've been doing, watching some TikToks, some YouTube videos, um, and I'm fixing to, um, oh, by the way, about the snow, it didn't get anywhere near as bad as they predicted it to be. Um, they're saying it could still snow tonight through a little bit tomorrow, so I guess we'll see if it gets any worse, but they said, like... One of the websites said 10 inches. One of them said 4 to 6 inches. One said 2 to 3 inches. So, I mean, who freaking knows? But um, we only got like a half inch maybe, if that. I don't even know. Um, I filmed a little clip outside this morning, so I'll put that in right here. Okay, guys. So, it's about 11 a.m. And this is what we're looking like so far. I don't think we're going to get as much as they thought we were, which is a good thing. But we still got a little bit. But yeah, it wasn't much as you could see. And you may be able to hear... I don't know if you can hear that like sound like water running. It's all melting. There's not really any snow left out there. Not much snow left out there. Anyways, um, now I'm going to do some dishes as much as I want to do them. They need to be done, so I'm going to go do that. I finally just got the dishes done. The counters are wiped off. <sighs> There's this happening that I need to organize. Those paper towels need to go over there behind the dishes, but I'm letting them dry so I can put them up and get them out of the way because it's kind of like tucked back there so it's hard to get to when you have dishes in there. It is hot. But anyway, um, I got that finished. I'm now fixing to start editing my video, get working on that. By the way, am I the only person in the world that has a dishwasher wherever it's at but never uses it? We've lived here since September and I've not once used that dishwasher. I don't know why, it's just a weird thing. I like to know that my dishes are gonna get clean and so I guess I just like to be the one responsible for washing them, I don't know. And also, as much as I hate doing dishes and I hate like, you know, just having to clean all the time, it does feel nice when you do it yourself because you feel accomplished, you know what I mean? So maybe that's some of why I do it, I don't know. But 
let me know if you guys do that too because i kind of feel like i'm just a psychopath <laughs> okay so it's been a while guys i got meatloaf in the oven some corn and i'm gonna make mashed potatoes with those potatoes that are boiling justin's home and in bed as you guys always see him <laughs> i'm just kidding he always comes home if he doesn't lay on the couch he lays on the bed but yesterday um the last episode of Kian and JC's Reality House came on, and we didn't realize we missed it. So we're going to watch it here in just a minute when we eat our dinner, and I'm excited to see. We, Me and Justin both kind of feel like the same person one. Um, I guess I could say it since it's not known. I mean, we don't know if it's true or not. I don't want to spoil it for anyone if you guys are watching it and haven't seen. But our guess is dumb. Um, I feel like Taylor could win it too just because she's been really, really good at all the other challenges, but... Um, if her legs really are bothering her, then she might not be able to perform at her best. I don't know. So anyways, we kind of feel like Dom's going to win it, which is funny because he was brought in from the first season. <laughs> like he got to come in like midway through and, um, compete. And so it, it would be kind of funny if he won. Um, I don't really care for him too much. He's just like crazy and loud and annoying kind of, but I mean, we really want Manny to win. I don't know why we just like him the most out of um, the people that are left, I guess. And yeah, he's just been really nice and kind of chill and quiet. Uh, of course he gossips, but everybody kind of gossips a little bit, you know? So anyway, that's who we hope would win. May I mean, I'm, I'm hopeful. I hope that he does win, but we think Dom is going to win. So we'll see here in a little bit. I won't spoil it for you guys, like I said, just in case you're watching it and haven't seen it. But um, yeah, anyways, I just thought I'd film a little bit of what we're having for dinner the mashed potatoes or the potatoes should be soft enough to mash them so i'm fixing to do that and then the almost said roast meatloaf should be about done so i'm fixing to check it okay guys so we had dinner and it was really good huh it was yeah we enjoyed it it's worth the wait i know it took forever i put i mean i usually think that it takes about an hour to make a meatloaf i guess it depends on how much or how big your loaf of meat is <laughs> that sounds bad sorry <laughs> um but yeah usually it only takes about an hour but for some reason it took like freaking two hours this time to make um but anyway it was good we enjoyed it we watched the final episode of the reality house it was a big surprise big morning. shocking ending um did not expect that yeah i didn't really expect anything but um it was a really good episode though it was, it was a good show we enjoyed it we ready for season three um they do a really good job job for being on youtube there's so many channels like shane dawson that need like a actual tv show yeah <laughs> and uh, that would be a good actual tv show too but anyway we watched that and then justin informed me that we're only like how many days away till the concert <laughs> what that's like including today so like and yeah, today's almost over, so. That is crazy. I just don't feel like it's that close. It feels so crazy. I've been seeing all these posts about how, like, humble and uh, appreciative Post Malone is. After his concerts, he's, like, sits there and just smiles and thanks everybody and waves at everybody and just, you know, takes in the moment. And um, he really is like that. Like, if you guys act like I know him in real life, but if you guys have never, like, watched videos of him like with fans or um in interviews or just like i said his concerts you can just tell like how much of a genuine person he is and that's one of the main reasons that we really like him because he's just like he's so humble like most people they get rich or you know come into a lot of money or something they they change and he just he's still like super appreciative and he makes time time for his fans and stuff and i don't know it's just really cool to see people like that because it's they're hard to come by because like i said whenever most people get money they they're they change so cocky yeah they don't remember where they came from yeah and that stuff can be taken from you at like a moment's notice so oh, yeah. you better be humble and appreciative and all that good stuff but anyway um so yeah it's i just can't believe that we're so close to going it doesn't feel real <laughs> I'm super excited, but like I said, I'm also really nervous because it's such a long drive, but it's going to be really cool to travel that far. We've never gone anywhere that far, and it's going to be fun, and it's going to be like, 
you know, a memory that we'll never forget, and I just can't wait to go, but I also can't believe it's coming so fast, because, like, I don't want it to be over with that fast. Yeah. Plus, things that you want to do, you just want to hurry and rush and rush to get, to yeah. be able to do it, but, like, with us here lately, like, we, like, enjoying the anticipation of, like, getting to go to do something, you know? Yeah. Because, like, then once it's over, then you're... Then you're just sad. You're yeah, like, what the hell? Me. Now what do I have to look forward to? Now sucks. <laughs> yeah. So, we're ready, but we're not. But it's going to be exciting. I can't wait to share it with you guys. And, I don't know. I'm just excited. But anyway, we just thought we'd chat with you for a little bit. We just got back home, so we're going to go in and get ready for bed because it's already 9.40. So. We made it home. We're getting ready for bed. Well, Justin's already in bed. I'm fixing to get ready for bed. So I'm going to end the video here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you tomorrow.